Now, but the I'm question is, why is it, and this is to you, Sandeep Shastri, why is Nitish Kumar so indispensable? Someone who's been in politics 20 years, who's never got a majority on his own, has always relied on allies. At from 115 or 117 seats in 2010, comes down to 70 odd in 2015, and now is down to 44. With every successive election in Bihar, both his vote share seats are coming down, which seems to increase his dependence on a potential ally. Why does he still remain so indispensable? I was listening to Prashant Kishore today, who says that Nitish Kumar in the next election will be less than 20 and in single digit vote share. What explains Nitish Kumar's durability that fire? Is it just that 10 12 percent that he brings to the to whoever's kitty? Rajdeep, I think the critical word you used was potential ally. In this multi cornered contest in Bihar, I think he is one of the few leaders who, in the past, has been able to tie up with both the Gatbandan and with the NDA. And it has got to do with his leadership, it has got to do with the social profile he has, and it has got to be do in some ways with the political acceptance at a given point of time. But Rajdeep, if you give me permission, two points I'd like to quickly make. Yes. For me, this entire episode of today is clearly, clearly linked to the 2024 elections. The BJP is very keen to break Rajiv Gandhi's record of, of 1984. And one way of doing that is to try and garner as many seats for the alliance as possible. And this seems to be one way forward. Now, the second point I'd like to make is uh, Nitish Kumar referred to the suffocation at the hands of the alliance, suffocation at the hands of the Congress. And it will be interesting to see how the NDA partners of the JDU, other than the BJP, be it the Khushwa faction, be it the... Um, the Paswan family faction, because in the past, his relations with these two groups has not been the most comfortable. And will the suffocation now be caused by these other groups which are part of the alliance? And third and last, I think the aim of the NDA now by bringing in Nitish is to create a new social, new rainbow coalition to challenge the RJD and do well in Bihar. Finally, I think Samrat Chaudhary will still prove himself to be correct to say that he got the chief minister out of his mm -hmm. seat and the chief minister is coming back to the seat because of him and therefore he stands vindicated with what he said. Well, I think that would be a very, you know, that, that would be really a very twisted logic that if Samrat Chaudhary said that. The truth is, Bihar politics mein hamam mein sab nange hai. That is the reality of Bihar politics. If you look at Lalu during the 1990s, he also used various politicians from time to time. But Nitish has, as many believe, taken it to a new level by changing his political partners at such, freak, with, at such frequent intervals. It almost leads you to question, what is politics all about, Rajat Sethi? We analyze politics, think that politics is going to be about public service, is going to change uh, the lives of millions of people. Bihar remains a benighted state. Yes, Nitish in his first five years did make a difference, particularly when it came to law and order, better condition of roads. But the last 10 years, many will say Bihar has once again become an area of darkness. No, uh, see, uh, Rajdeep ji, I, I agree with your analysis here, and I think I'll make a, uh, uh, a statement which, which might sound as a stretch. But anti-defection law should also be put in place for alliances. Like a Shiv Sena and a BJP go together in an alliance in an election, they should not be in a position to come out of that, because that is clearly betraying the mandate. Nitish, uh, Nitish's JDU and BJP contested together in the assembly elections, and any kind of a unilateral decision of one party shouldn't be there because that betrays the mandate of the people. And I think uh, uh, it's, it's, it's only perhaps through this, uh, this mechanism or some such legal mechanism through which you can create some level of, uh, of uh, uh, you know, uh, mandate at the heart of it, public's, uh, uh, you know, will at the heart of it. Otherwise, uh, politicians like uh, Nitish uh, uh, will keep, uh, you know, will keep uh, carrying on. That's, the that's, musical, an, in, uh, that's an interesting uh, point chair. you're making. You're saying defection laws should also apply to alliances. We saw it in Maharashtra. Some, the, the BJ, it, some kind of restraint. The BJP and Shiv Sena went into the Maharashtra polls in 2019 as an alliance. The moment the polls were over, the Shiv Sena switched hand, joins hand with the NCP Congress. You know, that's the problem. Nehle pe dehla sujata. 
you see you you did it to the bjp in maharashtra then nitish and lalu did it in a way to the bjp in bihar now the bjp has hit back both in maharashtra with eknath shinde and now once again with nitish in bihar this is the nature of politics your leader rahul gandhi is on a yatra saying he wants to bring a certain morality to politics but surrounding all of us is an immorality Rajdeep, I, I would uh, differ here because if you talk about Maharashtra, we also have the example of Madhya Pradesh. What happened in Maharashtra had nothing to do with the Congress Party as such. There was a rift between the Shiv Sena and the BJP. So the government, uh, there had to be a government for the people of this country. People need a government, and that is why uh, the best option that uh, that could be given to people was given. But what did the BJP do? they brought down the maharashtra government only because their alliance had uh, not worked out that had nothing to do with congress party secondly what happened in madhya pradesh uh, if you remember how uh, the lockdown had to be postponed by two days it just shows the character of the bjp but it is also showing that bjp is no longer as strong as it originally was in 2014 that it has been on a, a down plan is why when it uh, vote asked a uh, vote in the name of amartyas and now we are seeing a repeat of uh, the same thing because they are their only intention is to somehow come into power so that is not what politics is all about congress has never believed in this kind of politics and every every period has to see a churning and a change and that change will happen because of this kind of politics you know but you're saying that there will be it's a you know you're hopeful of churning and change but as we've seen in the last 30 years the only change in bihar is between the musical chairs that are played between the rjd and the jdu the jdu remaining in power for most of the last 20 years there was a brief period when jitin ram maji had taken over but otherwise nitish has in a way con- 